Backup devices in rope access are used to attach to the backup rope and form our backup system. Backup devices must be maintained independently of the primary system and positioned as high as possible in order to minimize freefall distance in the unlikely event of failure of the primary system. To install the duck R, first push the cam through the device body to the opposite side and attach the lanyard carabiner. This helps to prevent dropping the device. Pull down on the backup rope to give it tension and attach the device to the rope with the arrow pointing toward the anchor. Hold the device in place and remove the lanyard carabiner, allowing the cam to return through the device body. Reconnect the carabiner to the connection point, checking that it is fully closed and locked. Perform a function check by moving the device up the rope with the lanyard carabiner. Pull down on the lanyard to verify that the device locks. Then pull the positioning cord to move the device down the rope. The duck R should be positioned as high as possible at all times. Always use the lanyard or carabiner to move the device up the rope. Do not hold the device. The duck arm must always be above the descender or chest descender and never below its lanyard attachment point to the harness. To move the duck arm down, pull the positioning cord down using the index finger and thumb. We should hold the positioning cord for as short a period as necessary and be prepared to let go of the positioning cord immediately at all times. During training, we will always operate the duck R independently of the descender, which we call one-for-one -one progression. To remove from the rope, disconnect the carabiner, pass the cam through the body, and reconnect the carabiner before pulling the device from the rope. Then store the device back on the harness. To install the ASAP lock, connect the ASAP lock's energy absorber to the sternal D-ring of the harness. Check that the arrow is oriented toward the anchor. Open the safety catches to place the rope in the frame. Close the catches to engage the locking wheel on the rope. Perform a function check by engaging the lock function and ensuring the device locks on the rope. Then unlock the wheel so the device can slide on the rope normally. We should position the ASAP lock as high as possible on the backup rope and keep our arms below the ASAP sorber access at all times. Open the safety catches to remove the rope from the frame. Then close the safety catches before storing the device back on the harness.